So once you're finished cutting everything out and outlining and thickening up any of the letters that need it, then we will go on to putting this onto your background. So before we start, we're gonna be using some of these cardboard pieces to make it slightly 3D. So you're gonna to wanna to find areas where they will fit. And if it's um, too big, you just go ahead and cut those smaller if they are too large for the area. So I could put this one here now if I cut it down smaller. So you want them to be in places where it's gonna hold it up a little. So I'm gonna pick some of those and glue those down with a glue bottle because the glue stick, that won't stay. So I'm gonna put some of these, put some glue on the back and put those where I'd like those. You want them at least on the edges and maybe one in the middle. So you gotta have to think about that as you're working where the best place for that would be. So I want one down here so that it'll hold up the edges. Okay, so I have glued these on. Now I'm gonna put some glue on the back of all of these. If you use too much glue, it will move around on you and obviously it will take longer to dry. So you don't need a ton of glue, just a little bit. And then we're gonna flip these over and place them the way we would like them. So I don't wanna go the same direction as this angle here. I'm gonna turn it a little because it looks more interesting that way. Once you lay it, then gently push those cardboard pieces so that they're touching the paper. And then we'll let that dry like that. Next, we're gonna add some accent pieces. So this is a different one and these would be the accent pieces. So there's different shapes that you could use. We're gonna make those 3D as well. So looking at my work, I'm gonna to wanna to make sure I don't do yellow because that's the background and probably not even red. So then that means I'm gonna do my accent pieces with the blue paper. Because my word is boing, I think I'm going to do some of these shapes like this. So I might draw, you want three um, or four or five, three to five, and you want them different sizes. So if I draw this one and then I'm gonna make it again, because I'd like to make it into a shape that I can cut. So I'm basically gonna draw it twice so that I can cut that out. Anywhere they crisscross, you just wanna make sure that we are not making it so skinny that it's hard to cut out. So fix those after you draw them and then we can cut those to put on our work. So here I have finished one. I would say the side with the pencil should be the back. That way it'll make it look nicer when we glue it down. Once we have them all cut out, we can decide where we want those to go. They can even go behind or they could go on their own, even hanging off the edge of the page. So I'm gonna finish cutting out my other two. All right, so I have all my three pieces cut out. And after looking at this, um, I'm gonna make mine just flat. I'm not gonna make them 3D. You can make yours 3D if you want. You could do some flat some 3D, it's totally up to you. So again, I'm gonna now just sort of move these around and see where they look good. And decide also, do I want them hanging off the page? Do I want them all the way on the page? You could do a little bit of both. So just moving those around and then when you're ready, we're gonna glue those down. So while putting glue on this one, it broke, but I'm just going to place it and then I can reattach where it came off. So once you are finished, we will put these on the drying rack. You can fill out your rubric now or next class. Um, once it's dry, we will turn this in with the rubric. 